Welcome back to the Jerry Bay Insider. I'm your host, RV Hodge. I'm in the cockpit of Hull 68. This is where the action happens. Also, this is where a lot of noise happens. And today, we're gonna to talk about sound mitigation. In the cockpit is where everything happens. All the action, all the fun, and also a lot of noise. There's a lot of sources of noise. We have the giant engines making noise, the spray, the wind blowing by. The water translates sound very efficiently. The sound translates up through this lazarette bulkhead and any other solid structure. Essentially, the cockpit becomes a giant speaker. So one of the things we do is we have a sound dampening foam that becomes the cockpit deck. So now let's take a look at how that is made. So we're in building one, we're on the flat infusion deck. We call it our dance floor because it sounds more fun than actual a flat infusion deck. We are assembling the jigs that will become the shape for the cockpit deck. These pieces will stand up almost like floor joists, only unlike your house, this will have a curve to it. The cockpit deck has to have curve to it so that it'll have a natural watershed. Water, rain, spray, any way it comes into the boat has to go out, get to the scuppers and drain out of the boat. So they're always crowned tall in the middle and then down outboard so that the water can go out. Once our jig is completed, we will put the foam that becomes the cockpit deck. Now, this is specialty foam that we use here. You can see this slack seam here. That's a high density sound absorbing polymer. The reason for that is because a lot of the noise that comes into the cockpit is really translated up through the hull. As the wheels go around and the water gets compressed against the hull, it kind of hammers. You can make your propellers farther away from the hull and reduce that sound, but then they're deeper in the water, which is a problem coming into dockage in Eastern North Carolina. And for that matter, most of the East Coast. So we want to compress that to kind of the minimum prop tip clearance we call it but it still makes noise that's translated into the cockpit and this suppresses that quite effectively you can see this is also all keyed together it was CNC cut and it's ready to kit up on that mold and then the part will be infused on that preformed with the exact right crown that matches everything else in our design so fast forward a couple of months we get to the completed or mostly completed cockpit deck you can see it's all been infused. It's got carbon fiber wrapped on it. Inside this is the foam that we showed you before. And as you can see, I'm actually standing on the fuel tanks. They've just been installed. You can see the structure here where the cockpit deck will rest. This lumber is temporary. That's just to keep everything clean because we still have to finish our lazarette build out before we can put our cockpit deck down. Our next step in the sound dampening puzzle is the salon floor. We call the salon floor, salon deck kind of interchangeably. The whole floor is made out of aluminum because it's easy to customize for running wires, hoses, and pipes. The tubes are filled with foam as the sound dampening. And then each of these individual spaces will get filled up with a polymer foam. This is the same kind of foam and sound dampening material that's used in sound studios and earmuffs. The soft rubber, which absorbs sound through the air, and the high density rubber absorbs sound that is a hard sound coming through a fixed structure. The engine room will be below us. I'm standing in an engine hatch here, but obviously it'll be about seven feet down. And then the salon will be up here. On top of this layer will be a piece of plywood that has a sound dampening polymer inside of that. All of that is designed to really reduce the decibel rating from that engine room up into the living space. So let's hop into the engine room and see this where it'll be in context in the boat. The source of all the big noise in a boat starts here in the engine room. This will have two very large engines. The decibel output on these is tremendous. The salon floor will sit here. It's about five inches thick. It has a foam panel on the bottom for reflecting the sound back down. I'm not sure what the exact decibel reduction is of that, but I know it's tremendous. The sound in the salon, which is right here, versus the sound in the engine room, which is right here, is a dramatic difference. And speaking of noise reduction, in the last episode, we were talking about our water line. We talked a little bit about how the exhaust is affected. It's a pretty significant noise maker. This boat is equipped with the new generation of sound dampening mufflers. It has quite a bit of reduction over the old school mufflers. And I also am guessing that somebody's gonna ask about what this is all about. This is the generator exhaust and it will get trimmed off here, but we capped that so we could pressure test our entire exhaust line before we get to the water and discover we have a leak somewhere. 
As always, thanks for joining us. I hope you learned a little something today that was interesting and we'll catch you next time.